When the emission standards came out from the White House, what was your gut reaction when you saw it and read through the details? Offensive. Chris Spear, the CEO of the American Trucking Associations, doesn't mince his words about the new emission standards from the Environmental Protection Agency. The standards are designed to gradually push manufacturers towards making electric powered trucks instead of vehicles that run on gas. Well, this equipment right now costs four times what a brand new diesel costs. Okay, if you're a medium or small business running trucks, you're not gonna be able to afford that. The new emission standards kick into effect in 2027 and get increasingly more stringent. They apply to all heavy duty vehicles from delivery trucks to school buses. The trucks on the road 10 years from now are going to be cleaner. Joseph Goffman is an assistant administrator at the EPA's Office of Air and Radiation. He says that these regulations will help avoid up to a billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions over the next three decades. These rules will really improve public health. They'll reduce the kinds of pollutants that make people sick and equally important. Importantly, they'll reduce CO2 emissions. The new rules are being celebrated by environmental groups, but Spear says that truckers are worried, and not just about the cost. He argues that there are not enough charging stations and that the lengthy charging process is unrealistic for many truckers. You've got to have a rule that reflects, you know, common sense, and this doesn't. But the EPA says the technology is rapidly improving and argues that because of recent funding by the White House and Congress, the cost of electric vehicles is going down and the number of charging stations is going up. The rule phases in slowly enough so that even though there may not be enough charging infrastructure now, there'll be plenty of time to build that infrastructure. We don't want to litigate this, but if their changes aren't made, um, that's exactly what's going to happen, and that's not good for anybody. And this new rule on heavy trucks came just one week after the EPA came out with their brand new sweeping standards for passenger vehicles. The EPA estimating that by the year 2032, electric vehicles could make up a whopping 56% of new vehicle sales. Reporting here in Washington, this is Evan Kozloff, Spectrum News.